All right, so we're gonna change all the factory uh, bulbs inside the GTR and the door lights, the dome lights, the license plate lights, even the trunk is gonna get changed. And we're gonna do with these little beauties right here. They're just nice high power LED bulbs. And a bunch of kids on YouTube got freaked out because I'm touching LEDs. And they're like, don't you know that that's gonna make them go bad faster? No, bro, no, it's not. They're good, they're easy to use, you can handle them, you can pop them out. So check out this little stock bulb right here. We're just gonna do away with it real quick. And this is our supplied tool that we send out with all our bulb kit orders. And it just makes it super simple to get in and work with the parts. So I'm gonna take this off with my fingers. It's kinda of hot. I don't really recommend it if you have gloves or anything like that. These just push into place. So ridiculously brighter than the stock one. And, uh, and then the little cap just goes right back over it. That's that part. I'll do that on the other door as well, but first I'll do the dome light. So the factory GTR dome lights, they're just the same kind of yellowish color. They're not super bright, um, but they have the same type of cover as a few of the other Nissans do. So our 370Z kit, it's the same exact bulb. It's actually the same exact shape. It just has a tiny bit different diffuser on the part that we're gonna pop off right now. So I'm just gonna take the tool. I'm gonna pop off a couple little corners of this guy. That'll give me access to the bulb. And then from there, I'll just pop it off like I did the door light and change it to the LED bulb. And then I'll turn it on and make sure that it's actually working the way it's supposed to. Wow, it definitely is. So if you wanna work on the lights with them on like this, you can. Just makes the bulbs a little bit hotter when you go to access them with your fingers. And the other thing is, if you got dirty hands, don't be touching the roof of the GTR. You should know better. Here we go. So a simple five minute install, and they look great. These are actually a slightly different type of bulb. It's a little bit bigger LED chip, but we use them for anything that's directional, so it's gonna be aiming straight down, and it'll give us a little bit better lighting aiming towards the license plate. So we use it for that and for the trunk. So it's actually pretty easy to get in here and access where the bulbs are on this just by sticking your hand up inside. But the little clip just has to be pushed in. It comes down at an angle and it's the same way. So the clip is on the right side on both of them. Either way, on this set, all we do is twist these off. Pull the bulb out and put the new LEDs in. You want to align these up right. If they're not clipping back in easily, then you don't have it aligned right. But you'll hear it click if you do it right. Last one I'm gonna do is just one little LED bulb for the trunk, but it's gonna make a big difference. So you can actually use the trunk light now instead of it just kind of casting a, a very small amount of light in there. So believe it or not, the trunk light is on right now. It's just not doing anything. If you stick the camera in, you can see a super faint glow right here. It's really dim. So basically, we just open up the lid, pull out the bulb, and then I'll just go by feel. I thought I was cool enough to do this without using my phone light, but I'm not, so. So there we go. So it's got a little bulb inside of it and a cap that you can clip back in place. Last is the LED reverse lights. We've already thrown them in. So these tail lights have been modified. Internals are all black now. And instead of there being a layer of tint on the front of them to make them look darker, they're actually black from the inside. And then these are left completely clear and normal. So when I step on the brakes, you get full light output. And when I put the reverse lights on, there's no layer in between the LED bulbs and your eyeballs. So you get full light output, but you get the cool look of them being a dark cherry type look. Um, the same as you would get after spray tinting or doing a layover like my boys at Premium Carry. So let me show you these reverse lights. So because
because we have the tailless turn module installed, it's basically making the brake lights act as the turn signal. So this used to be the turn signal, but now it's a secondary LED reverse bulb, which definitely helps keep a cool look with all four of them on at the same time. If I turn on the turn signal, then you see just that one side flashing. And if we do the hazard lights, then everything's flashing together, but you still have all four of your LED reverse lights on. All right, so this car is 100% done now. It didn't have all the lights before. We just swapped out all the factory bulbs. So anything that was the ugly kind of yellow color, um, it's all been replaced with super bright white LEDs now. And he already had the custom headlights from us, but now he's got the premium wrap on it. It's got the dark, dark gray satin, and it just looks sick. So everything came together all around the whole car. Now it's got interior bulbs. It's got the wrap on the outside, the custom headlights, custom taillights. We got a loud ass train back there that's totally messing up the spot, but I don't care, I'm gonna keep going. But uh, check around the car, I mean, it looks great. John just shot a whole bunch of stuff, walking around the whole thing. Inside glows, outside glows. I couldn't be more happy with it, so take it away, John. Three, let's go. Yeah. Look at those LED bulbs. Oh, <laughs> damn, there's that reaction. I'm somebody now. <laughs> you can see your feet when you get out at night. Oh, well, people will see your doors open. So much better than those crappy yellow bulbs. Oh, oh. Look, you can right. see inside your trunk now, too. But you need these, too? Yeah, it's just one bulb, but it makes but a big difference. You can actually see that. Oh, my gosh. You guys went all out. So oh, this is the special little thing you don't know about on a GTO. If you hold the lock and the unlock button at the same time, it'll disable a horn. But why would you want to do that? Well, what if you have to push the horn three times? Because you want your car to remote start and you don't want to honk. I don't know. Every time I do this, it works. Every time I do that, it doesn't work and I look like an asshole. So that's it. And then three times. might be where I look like an asshole. I know. All right, and then if I want to disable that horn, I'm gonna hold lock and unlock again. And this time it tells me that it's changed it to where the horn's not gonna go off every time I lock it and unlock it. Cool trick, remote start's awesome. I'm going on a rare ride along. And that beautiful sound is gonna get a lot louder in just a minute, so. Instead of me watching other people have fun, this time I get to have a little bit of fun too and go with my boy Cliff. And basically, Cliff's not gonna get in trouble for driving this thing fast like I would, so I didn't even wanna drive it. I'll just let him do it. Jesus. <laughs> the whole damn car lifted up, man. <laughs> I just wouldn't do that in this car. I wouldn't. I think the ride-alongs are way better when you're doing it with the guy that knows what the car can do. I wouldn't do that. All right, that you ready? Yeah. It's like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> you're all, you haven't launched it yet. I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna launch it. I don't know what you're talking about. That's nuts. I don't know if you felt all four tires spinning. Yeah. Like, we just, we just...